Hey guys, Books Nelson here, back with another video. We're going to be breaking down this Galaxy Opal Gary Payton and seeing if the glove is any good. So getting right into the content, uh, I found something with the glove that I really like. So the question for me is, okay, he's 6'4", he's got great defensive stats. We expect him to be really get onto that ball, but he doesn't have the greatest SIGs in the world. However, you don't need the greatest SIGs in the world to be effective in 2K24, you just need enough SIGs to really work. And I found a, a great combination of moves with Gary that we're going to get into as we break this card down a little bit. So the main thing with Gary, like anybody with the Devin Booker dribble style, is this push cross, right? Now, what a lot of people do was just do this push cross kind of back and forth. And the thing is, that's not super effective, right? It, you get away with it sometimes against bad players, but a, a good player is going to, you know, get on top of that. Now, when you're doing other stuff and you can bring the push cross out out of, you know, I won't say a combo, but out of a setup, right? That changes everything. Because once you're setting that thing up, it happens kind of fast, right? Like people are reacting. Um, to that move. So then it becomes, can he move in the cardinal directions? When we say the cardinal dribbling directions, we mean ball hand, off ball hand, north and south. The good news is Gary Payton can. He's not elite at these things. I'll tell you that guy right, right away. But I do think he's usable and I do think you can have success with Gary. <clears throat> so getting right into that. So let's look at his size up, right? So this is between the legs. This is behind the back. This is forward cross. All right, and so right away we can see some of these elements that give him just a good feeling movement, right? He's not a again, he, he's not as elite at the dribbling as some other cards, but he has good feeling movement. He has definitely enough to work with. All right, so let's talk about his sigs real quick. So he's got Devin Booker dribble style, Derrick Rose signature size up. Now you know we like this Derrick Rose signature size up because of that, right? You can really set up with this Derrick Rose signature size up and go either way. You see how quick that burst was? So this is Devin Booker dribble style, right? Which on his own, Gary Payton doesn't have the best same side burst in the world. It's it's solid, a little difficult to do, um, but it's solid. You know, I don't, I don't know why it's a little harder, but it is there and it works well. But out of his size up, he can he can go either direction out of his size up. And honestly, whichever direct, even though he's switching hands, whichever direction you wanna go, you can just choose to go with Gary Payton as you're sizing the ball up. So that's one thing I would say right away is a huge plus for Gary. So he can pat the rock and go either direction. Whatever you want to do to the opponent is available to you, right? So he's got the James Harden escape. So the James Harden escape going to the opposite hand, it does this kind of stuff. Now, normally I would say this is a bad escape, right? Uh, because that's, that's not nearly as good as say Kemba escape, right? And we'll look at it from the other side, right? Well, that's the, and so that's the uh, aggressive crossover, right? And that's the James Harden escape. However, that James Harden escape can be combined with the Devin Booker dribble style pretty effectively. And that aggressive crossover can also be combined with the Devin Booker dribble style pretty effectively, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to get into that uh, aggressive crossover. And as soon as you do it, you go the other way with the Devin Booker style. And he gets this amazing one, two crossover. So if you're confused about the aggressive crossover, this is holding turbo, pressing two o'clock, uh, or closer to one o'clock if the ball is in your left hand, and 11 o'clock if the ball's in your right hand. As soon as you input that, you wanna be holding left, or the opposite direction on the stick, right? So if I'm holding, if I'm going to that one o'clock, then on the stick, I'm holding to the left on the left stick, right? So uh, it's a little too soon. You gotta let it play out. Boom, right? And, but you gotta get it quickly. That's the only thing. It's like, you, you do gotta get it quickly. But you see how quickly he moves? Very, very fast moving out of that. And the thing is, you can throw that in out of anything. And this same move works with his comp, with his built-in aggressive combo move. So this is holding turbo on the, on the um, well, holding turbo and then pressing up on the stick. And he does this kind of bit, right? This Paul George looking stuff. Which is that? It just says normal combo moves. Uh, but this reminds me of Paul George. But again, you can do the Devin Booker out of that as well. And you can do it at any time. You can actually look at the ball switching hands and decide which one you want to go out of, right? And same thing for the same direction. He, he gets out of it smoothly, not a quick burst, but smooth enough that you can play with it. And then also out of that move, you can go to a regular size up and do it as well to break up the rhythm. Because the Devin Booker push cross can come out of nowhere, this gives Gary Payton enough stuff to move 
in addition to just being relatively solid at you know other stuff dribbling around again he's not a meta dribbler but if you have gary payton and you like his defense and you like his jumper which is a good jumper right well we look at leaner very quick on the leaner so even though he has the uh normal leaner when you look at that normal leaner in the context of his jumper how quick it gets up this is a hall of fame difficulty very easy to make his shot right you know he's very smooth getting into that he can get to that shot super quickly and i think if you apply this dribble style to Gary, not this attack style to Gary Payton, I think you can get a lot more out of the card than having him be a pure 3 and D. I think he can make, make plays for you. I think his primary function on the court is going to be a defensive guy catching and shooting, going off the catch, getting to the rim really quickly. But in a pinch against a good matchup, if people are running switch all and you feel like you're on a good matchup, you see that right there, that quick burst, his attacking cross mixed with the Devin Booker dribble style is fantastic. You can get to it really quickly right away. And I think the same thing is true for his um, aggressive dribbles. And the same thing is also true for this Derrick Rose size up into the Devin Booker. This gives you a lot of opportunities to get to it. Look how shifty left and right he is off that Devin Booker dribble style. Just really, really fantastic. So let's look at the rest of the moves that he has available to him. So this is the uh, Kobe Bryant. Oh, so his breakdown moves are the Kobe Bryant. Yeah, that's. I thought that looked familiar. All right. So this is his combo move. Not good. His between the legs combo. This is the normal one they were talking about. Don't love that. This is his behind the back. So this isn't a super strong behind the back. This is the pro behind the back, but you can L2 cancel off of it. Technically, you can burst out of it, but it's not very quick, right? Uh, I think um, early in the year, I think Mitch Richmond had this move. So you can dance behind screens a little bit with it, but the burst out of it is kind of slow. But let's see if we can get a little more out of that. You can see, but you can get to that James Harden out of that, right? So he has the James Harden snatch back. And if you look at his behind the back into the James Harden snatch back, it gives you some options, you know, working off of that, right? And you can, and, and I will say, out of that James Harden uh, snatch and the James Harden step back, the momentum dribble is a solid change of direction. You know, the momentum dribble is mostly a combo move um, in, in Rec and Park, but it has its uses where it does give you a little bit of a change of direction. I think this is one of those cases where it does give you a little change of direction. And again, you can always come back, threaten the Devin Booker in either direction coming off of that, right? So you can snatch momentum and now when you when you slow down a little bit the devin booker can happen but then also if you mix in that size up the devin booker can go the other way i think gary payton's game is pretty simple right you can combo up with him a little bit with all of this stuff you can same side burst with him the same side burst is reasonably reliable with gary payton and you don't even need necessarily to dribble with the same side burst because his regular devin booker burst is good but you see they're very smooth on the same side burst gets on the rim really quickly he doesn't have good moving dribbles the only good moving dribble he really has is this between the legs it's kind of smooth but his crossover and his behind the back are both pretty bad uh james harden notoriously bad behind the back you see that very slow he actually slows down gives the opponent the opportunity to make a good defensive play we don't like to see that and uh let's take a look at the crossover the crossover is very similar uh he's got the zach levine moving crossover i don't know who at 2k hates zach levine but man does he have some bad sigs in this game woof woof you can smell his sigs through the screen but yeah i will say Gary Payton does have tools. I think the number one tool is obviously that Devin Booker push cross, but he has enough tools built around that Devin Booker push cross that if you have a little stick skill, you can set up that Devin Booker push cross and get to the rim on a consistent basis, and you can get to his floaters on a consistent basis. So outside of that, I'll do a quick rundown of the rest of the card. So his leaners are normal. He's got pro two hop jumper. Let's take a look at that. Uh, I hate that hop jumper. It's absolutely awful. Never do it. Uh, only gonna only gonna cause you pain in life and I'm trying to save you from that and you know stats wise we know defensively he's absolutely off the charts at the point guard position outside of the fact that he's a little small and stats and badge wise he's extremely complete I don't think he needs anything maybe open looks would be the only thing he needs is open looks everything else you're good to go so he's a very complete card he's very low maintenance doesn't require a lot of stat love doesn't require a lot of badge love um, he can move in all four directions north south uh, ball hand off ball hand he has the ability to do all of those things and i think he has a lot of ways to set up this devin booker push cross that if you put the time into it and work on it you can definitely get a lot more out of the card now i do want to just take a moment to go back to this aggressive dribble 
and just give you guys, for those of you who are not familiar with it, I want to talk about it a little bit. So this is the aggressive dribble, right? If you continue to, if you just do the dribble, he will stop like that. This makes this a difficult move to use because you, you have to have some skill on the sticks to, uh, you know, exploit it. So to get him to not stop, the first option is after you do this move, you have to let go of turbo and just hold forward on the left stick, right? So there you go. And you glide right out of it. So this is a great north to south attacking move, right? It's really quick, and but you have to, again, you have to get used to the timing of it, right? So you see there, very smooth, goes straight to the basket. So if you ever need to go straight to that rim, that is a great way to go straight to the rim from the off ball hand. Now, because of the Devin Booker dribble style, that same basic timing where you get on there really quickly and you let go, you continue to hold turbo and then you slide right out of it, right? So you fake the attack and then you get to that other direction, you know? So it's really, really good. And also, oh, I almost forgot. He's got this, this Hezzy, right? Same thing with the Devin Booker dribble style. This Hezzy goes really well into the Devin Booker dribble style, both into the push cross and into this kind of snappy cross. It's really quick. And again, anything you do, you can get to that the same way, right? And if you hit that, you also now have the option, based on what your opponent is doing, to either go to the same side burst or to the Devin Booker push cross off of the same input, right? So you're inputting that HESI, but off of that HESI, you can same side burst, right? And then same thing off of that HESI, you can let the HESI play out and then go back the other way and get to your float, you get to your leaner, and you can also get to your stick dunk just by controlling the left stick going in that same direction. And it's really smooth with Gary. I'll be honest, just for fun, I would sometimes throw Gary in a lineup and play that game because I think he's better at it than most people will give him credit for. That's going to be it for this breakdown. Guys, thank you so much for the support. We're over over 700 subs. Um, we have recently got partnered, thanks to you guys. Uh, and let's just keep it going. You know, we keep elevating the conversation and uh, improving the understanding of my team and everything that's going on. All right. Please like and subscribe. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.